Hey everyone, it's EJ from iDesign.com and I'm here with another quick tip and this one is good for uh, when you run into some issues and I'm, I'm sure we've all ran into these issues before where you, you set up your scene in cinema, you render everything out, you have all your object buffers set up or so you think and you bring it into After Effects, you start setting your mats you start uh, you know, doing your blending modes, all that good stuff, and you realize, oh crap, I forgot to set up one of my object buffers for one of my objects. And you know the project was due yesterday, and you don't have time to just you know, go in and just set up your object buffer and re-render again, you know, especially if you have a really heavy scene. So the one way you would get around that, and I'm gonna show you this before I show you the second way, which is usually better nine times out of ten and I'll show you why that is but the first way uh, so let's just say you know I have my scene all set up and let's just say I forgot to add the object buffer for the M A T T E letters here right so what what I used to do before and what I found a lot of people used to do or still do is uh, so I only have three materials in here, so this is a little bit a, a better of a scene to show you that this could work pretty well with a dumbed down scene is you would actually go and, because remember an object buffer, all an object buffer is, is a black and white mat. So right now you're just trying to think of ways that you can fake uh, a black and white mat. So the one thing you would do is you would just make a material with just the luminance checked on, so this material, everything that has this applied to is just going to be stark white. And then you would do the same thing, duplicate that material, go into luminance and make that black. And so, you know, you'd go in and, whoops, you go in and you just replace the materials and just make it so everything's black and white. and you can see in the scene right here actually let me go ahead and turn off ambient occlusion here and that way you can see you have uh, a black and white matte setup it's not what it needed to be but you, you get the point where you, you replace all your materials and all that good stuff but for you to actually do it correctly you have to go in and okay you have to make sure like okay well I need to apply the white to that and the black to that and all that and that just is going to take forever and this is a dumbed down scene if you have a very complex scene with a whole mess of materials it's just not a smart way to work right and especially when you have things that overlap so I have you know these cubes overlapping the text there so you can't just easily delete everything because you still need uh, the the cutout shape of this cube so it also is cut out when you composite in After Effects. So I'm going to show you a second and better way to go about this and that is by using uh, the matte object uh, option and if you uh, go into the compositing tag and you scroll all the way to the bottom you see this little guy down here which I'm sure many of us have never even noticed was there uh, but if you click on this matte object buffer or matte object option here you see that the color default is black so let's see what that actually does so I'm gonna go and right click this and do uh, copy tag to children so you can see that as I whoop, as I go through all these compositing tags, all of the uh, the set the settings of this main one that I had copied is, of course, copied to all the children. So if I go and render this, you can see exactly what happens. And since I have all these uh, compositing tags on this cube text object right here, if I move that around, you can see what that is. And I render that again can see that when this tag is applied with the matte object set to black that's just totally blocking out lights shadows all that stuff 
and it's just rendering that geometry black. So that's exactly exactly what we need. Well, once we set everything up correctly, but you know, again, we're just trying to make a black and white mat uh, to replace the object buffer. So let's just go ahead and we know we need the M A T T and the E to be white. So if I go and select the compositing tags of those objects and set this to white, and if I render this again, you can see that we have our black cubes and our white text all set up uh, with the matte object settings and the compositing tag. So now all I have to do, and especially if you have a more complex scene, and I just have these are the two um, objects or these are the two um, other elements in the scene all set up in nulls but uh, an easy way if you have a more complex scene is to just get all of your elements and just group them under a null again go and duplicate or create a new compositing tag with that matte object color set to black and again, I'm going to twirl this down so you can see this actually happened. But if you right click, copy tag to children, that applies that compositing tag. And actually, if you have compositing tags already applied to these objects, uh, doing this copy tag to children will actually overwrite uh, the compositing tags that were already there. So it's always a good idea when you are going to try to fake remaking an object buffer to make sure you save a copy so you're not you don't accidentally save over even though it's you just have all this information in the compositing tag you just want to kind of save your butt in the in the future if you accidentally write over the file you're working with uh, but anyway so now I have all those matte objects in the compositing tags on everything else in the scene and if I go hit render see we still have this issue here and the reason for that is is because we have this sky object still here so I can either just add that or just turn this off completely and render again and there you go we have our fake object buffer and it renders out really quickly because the compositing tag matte buffer acts as if you have just a white or black uh, luminance only material like I created before uh, but it's just way easier to go about it this way, uh, you know, especially if you have a way more complex scene. So, uh, yeah, so matte object, uh, set in the color to black or white, and create your, your missed object buffer. So when you screw up, you can easily cover your butt.